PR co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. You know, I love playing arpeggios, and if you've seen my lessons before, you've seen me teaching lots of different ones. And lately, I've been really loving this two-string minor seventh arpeggio, and I found that it works in so many different musical genres. And I'll show you how to move it around uh, because it's movable, so you could do it in any key. And I'll show you different ways that you can add licks onto the end of it so you can kind of phrase it in. So that's what good arpeggio playing really is all about, right? You're mixing your arpeggios in with your scales and your licks. So in the intro, I was jamming over a jam track in the key of D minor. Um, so I played this arpeggio, I played a D minor seven arpeggio, something like this. <laughs> And I attached it to a lick, right? Um, so it has a really cool sound, two notes per string. And if you want some jam tracks to try this, I'll tell you what, I'll give you six of them for free. Great sounding tracks. I'll put a link in the description box below. Click on that link, I'll send you six jam tracks. And I'll also send you two ebooks that pair up with the jam tracks where I talk about the chords in each track, what to try over it, what works. The scales are all diagrammed out in the other ebook. Um, so it's a great little kind of jam track coach set. Six jam tracks, two ebooks, send it to you for free. Just click on that link below. I'll move it down to the key of A. So uh, we're more in the middle of the fretboard, but you could play it anywhere. Uh, so let me show you first the arpeggio. And in case you don't know, all an arpeggio is, is the notes of a chord played separately. And they give your playing a really cool sound because normally if you're playing a lot of scales, right? You're playing a scale note and then like the next note in the scale, or you're bending up to that next note, but in the arpeggio you're skipping over certain notes, so you get wider interval jumps, plus you can really outline the chords in a progression if you play the notes that make up that given chord that you're playing over, and it gives you, so that's why arpeggios are so handy, and it gives your playing a very sophisticated sound. We're gonna play A minor seventh arpeggio, and a minor seventh chord is just a rooter one, flat third, fifth, and flat seventh. So in the key of A, a minor 7th would be A, C, E, G. There's our minor 7th. Well, we want to play it two notes per string, so we're going to have to move it. But basically, we're just playing those notes. A, C, E, G. And then we're just repeating them. A, C, E, G. You really want to emphasize the A because we're in the key of A minor, but you can do this in any key. So here's what the shape looks like, two notes per string. We'll start on the G note, third fret, low E string, and then we'll go to the A note, fifth fret, low E string. So anywhere you want to play this key, just put your second finger on the root note and then go back a whole step, and you've got the first two notes. Like I was playing it in D, so I put my second finger on the tenth fret and then my first finger would be on the eighth fret. And there's the start, right? So here's the whole shape. We're just gonna end it back at the A note. So get that under your fingers. So that's our two note per string, minor seventh arpeggio, A minor seventh. If you wanted to play it in the key of D, same exact shape. Right? If you want to play it in the key of B, second finger on the B, low E string, go back a whole step. Right? So you could play it in any key you want, and it sounds great when you play it over a minor chord, a minor seven, minor ninth chord. Sounds awesome. Or even in your blues jams when you're minor key, try it. Throw it in there. So let's do this. Um, Right? Um, so all I did there is you played the whole arpeggio. When I get up high, you gotta do a pull-off, 
12 to 8. And then I went back down another arpeggio, which I'll show you in a second. And then when I got to the 9th fret, slid to the 7th, slid to the 5th. And there's my root note. So it's kind of like you could think of that as minor pentatonic. And you end on your A note. Here it is slow. Hey, if you got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see or what gear you'd like to see reviewed. Let us know how you like this lesson. And if you do like it, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. That really helps us and we so appreciate it. So when you're up here on the 12th fret of the high E and the 8th fret, and then the 10th fret, there's your A note. There's your A minor triad, right? A, C, E. Now, you can go down descend down that triad. And that was like the lick I did in the intro. And I slid back into the minor pentatonic or blues scale. Here's that whole arpeggio in case you want to see it. That's an A minor pinky on the root. But you could take any of those notes, stop on them, and slide back into your scale and you have a good way to connect that. That time I just went right down the blue scale. What I did there was instead of descending it, you can connect it up and I connected it to the, we're in the key of A minor, I connected it to an A natural minor scale or A aeolian. When I got up to the high E, Slide up to our G, 15th fret, and then you could play the whole scale. That's A natural minor. So you want to start to envision this arpeggio living in this part, you know, of the scale, whether you're playing pentatonically or natural minor, and connecting it to your licks. If you want to get a little bit more bluesy sounding, kind of incorporate that arpeggio down the blues scale and throw in some bends, you know? Be sure to check out some more of our lessons. Hey, don't forget, if you want some jam tracks, because it's all about application, you got to practice these things in a musical context. Click on the link below. I'll send you six free jam tracks and two eBooks. Be sure to take advantage of that. It's free from Next Level Guitar. Subscribe to the channel. Right? We really appreciate that and subscribing just really helps us to keep bringing the content. Thanks so much for your support over the years. Thanks for watching. Hey, take care and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Rock on.